We got the seven levels of being high. Let's react. Welcome to another reaction, guys. This is like Goldman Day 7. Um, getting another video out for you guys. And I got an interesting video. This video has over 16 million views in less than a year. It's called The Seven Levels of Being High. And this is a series by the channel. It's called Mostly True. Um, but go ahead and leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. And let's get into it. So there are seven levels of being high that you may experience while smoking. And although no two people will have the exact same experience from weed, this should give you a general idea of what to expect. For level one, we have toasted. You'll be feeling like a warm sourdough roll. At this level, you'll still be able to function normally, but you'll just be a little bit more giggly and you'll have a slight mind and body relaxation. This is the optimal level so of high sweet. if you need to do normal person stuff, but you want a slight mood boost. For level two, we have baked. You are officially high, but it's not affecting you too much. At this level, objects start to seem more significant. Yeah, I don't really know mm. how to put it any other way than that, but I mean, look, look at that object. Tell me that doesn't look more significant. That's because... I like the way he put it. Um, whatever well, makes this video definitely, definitely smoke weed. You are officially high, but it's not affecting level you too much. Baked, At this okay. level, objects start to seem more significant. Yeah, I don't really know how to put it any other way. That's than that, valid so I mean, far. Pretty look valid. at that object. Tell me that doesn't look more significant. Thoughts become more random, but you can kind of wrangle them back in and stop your mind from wandering too far. This is a good True. socially functional level of high. If you're with people and you don't want shit to get weird, stay around this level. For level three, we have roasted. All mm. mental faculties now require more focus and energy. At this point, your internal monologue starts to get louder. <coughs> You know how you just heard your own voice in your head reading those words? Well, when you're sober, you think your thoughts quietly, if that makes sense. Mm. But when you're roasted, you think your thoughts louder. Also, at this point, sentences are very difficult to form and require expert planning and precision to execute. Next up, we have level four. Okay, roasted. The slurred effect. I get where, you, I get where you're going so far. So far, you're making a, a decent amount of sense to me sauteed sentences are relics of the past and now requires all of your energy just to form words what what that's right sound it out buddy what water this is the point where you put something in the microwave for five minutes and you stand there watching your food cook for the entire time mm. <laughs> dude can you turn the fucking microwave off yeah, they really should have like a midnight stoner mode for microwaves. Level five is known as stony balonied. This is when paranoia starts to set in. If you're with other people, avoid eye contact. You will get your soul stolen. This is also when you can become hyper analytic of every thought you have and every action you take. Am I walking funny? Is it weird to have the thought that I just had? What about that one? I feel like this applies more to somebody of course you would have to you would have to smoke a lot to get to this uh stony baloney whatever um he kind of losing me i don't like the names anymore the names aren't good anymore um but yeah i feel like this is something if you more of a beginner smoker and you it's one of your first times getting high because this is the only thing only way i really can relate to it is like them first like Super super hot box sessions. Or am I the and you're thing not that used is to it thinking yet. the thoughts? No, I'm me. You're been there you're just before. a thought. No, I'm actually you. You you aren't you. It's me. This is also the point when I normally feel like I'm just a little goblin inside my own head watching TV through my eyeballs. At level six, you have the Kush coma. Right before you enter a Kush coma, it can feel like your heart is about to beat out of your chest. At this stage, it's very common to experience weed paralysis, where you just kind of get so high that like you're you're stuck or you're you're frozen. I actually have a funny little story about this. One time my friend was throwing a party and uh, we went out to the park next to his house to smoke weed. But he said he was going to take a few extra rips and that he would meet us back at his house in a few minutes. But he ended up getting too high mm -hmm. and he just became frozen on that bench for like multiple hours, like a few hours while the party just came. And you also have to like, see a lot of his examples include bongs. Bongs get you way higher than smoking a joint or a blunt does, you know. 
you know, so it makes sense why he says, you know, a cush coma. Continued at his house. He wasn't even there for his own party. At some point, he booted back up like a lagging 90s Dell computer, and he was good as new. Um, but, you know, sometimes you just need like a few hours on a bench alone at night before like you're ready to go back to the social situation. So, you know, hey. keep that in mind. And last but not least is number seven. The final form of every stoner. The most sacred of all highs. Zooted. Yeah. You'd be feeling like a cryptocurrency. Yeah. Telepathy is now activated. Right. You no longer require mouth noises to communicate. This is where you start to experience frame rate drops in your vision. Your mm. graphics card is overheated. You can't even sustain six. Zooted. I feel like you kind of can get zooted if you uh drink and smoke. If you get crossfaded, I feel like it's kind of like a zooted feel. Um, but you have to be m way more on the high side than the drunk side. The FPS at this point. This is when you eat a pizza roll and you in feel every individual muscle fiber of your esophagus <laughs> expanding and contracting as it travels down your throat. Not You're way real. past couch lock. You and the couch are now merged with each other on a molecular level. Where do I end and the couch begins, you ask? The answer is yes. Well, anyways, that's it for today. Uh, if you have any funny stories of like being super high or if you guys use different words for getting high uh comment them down below in the comment section and if you're still here please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already um uh, yeah um again that was mostly true a million likes i give it a like or not or um it was pretty valid. I feel like every stoner, like he said at the beginning of the video, no two people will ever really have the same high or will be the exact same. Well, they could be on the same level, but you know, even then there's still levels to how high somebody could be. But you know, um, cool video. I think I'll watch like the seven levels of drunk or some of the other stuff he's made. Cause it looks like he's made a decent series. So, hey, who knows? We, we probably have a few more reactions to him, but make sure y'all hit that like button. I'm out. Peace.